All right. Yeah, it feels a lot brighter. Guys, I'll tell you what, it's hot. I got lots of reflection coming in from here. I'm feeling that, feeling the sun on the back of my head. It is just, it's just warm. All right, yeah, I think we're, uh, I think we're good to go. Let me grab my phone. Got questions on my phone. Yeah, I think we're good to go. Wearing the nice Hawaiian, cause this is the coolest shirt that I have. So this is what we're sporting today. We got the cup of coffee. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to sit down and make this video just because, you know, um, just wanted to give you guys an update, a lot of stuff going on. And uh, I wanted to practice outdoor interviews and that's, that's what we got set up here. We got a huge bounce, I'll show you. We got a huge bounce right here. We got a negative right here. Let me just take a video for you. All right. So yeah, we got this huge, V flat that I was actually, I was using this in my studio uh, in the West Bottoms until we got rid of it. So this is actually perfect for this. Then we got negative fill. To be honest, I'm not sure if that's doing anything. We just put it up. Uh, speaker, camera. We got this set up on my Sony a7 III. And uh, yeah, that's all we got right now. Pretty, pretty simple but I'm hoping it's pretty effective. I can't really tell because there's so much glare on the back of the screen. It seems like it's okay, but we're just gonna go ahead and talk for as long as I can keep this coffee. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update on you know what's happening with Tyler and I because there's, uh, there's really a lot going on. It's been a busy past couple years. Um, I'll just go ahead and start. Two years ago, we we moved to the New York area so Tyler could, you know, pursue her graduate's degree. And we moved out there, we were there for six months and then the pandemic hit and we actually came back here and, and started living in Kansas City where we've been for the past two and a half years just because everything has been online for her. And it's really been great, you know, we've been able to be around family, I've been able to kind of, you know, start my production business, start start learning video, because that's that's actually when I started videos, when we were living here with my parents, when we moved back, we thought it was gonna be temporary. We were here for a month, I was really bored, so I was like, let's learn something new, and that's, that's kind of when I fell in love with video, was when I was just playing around with it in the backyard. And we're actually getting ready to move around again, because finally, the moment that we've been sort of anticipating, we knew it was gonna happen, uh, Tyler's school said you got to be in person again. So we're gonna go back for uh, her last semester in person. Actually, no. So we're gonna go back. So this fall, we're going back and we're gonna live in the Northeast again. And we're just gonna be there for two months. We're renting an Airbnb and we were, you know, bouncing around ideas where should we go? What city should we try in the Northeast? It's getting a little windy and I'm, I'm like looking at my bounce here and things are starting to look sketchy. I don't have a lot of sandbags. So if something falls down, oh no. But yeah, we decided to go ahead and try Philadelphia. <laughs> uh, learned a new lesson. Uh, definitely check your batteries. I've been talking for the past 30 minutes and then I went to go turn off the camera and I realized the battery died. So I'm gonna, I don't, I don't wanna do, I don't wanna ramble again. So I'm just gonna speed through everything, you know. We just, des we decided to try Philadelphia. And you know, before we lived in New, New Brun, no, before, <sighs> before we lived in this little spot called Stockton, New Jersey, town of 300 people in the river valley outside of outside of new york about 30 minutes south of philadelphia and you know it was fantastic it was beautiful we had amazing neighbors and it really was gorgeous but having moved to a new place not knowing anyone there i don't know if moving out to the country was the best decision it definitely got a little bit lonely so this time we're gonna try philadelphia and you know, Tyler has, is gonna have class, you know, 
three days a week. And then, you know, we'll just, we'll just be able to, you know, explore Philadelphia. Um, and, and I'm really excited about that. And, uh, I know there's a lot to do. We have some incredible friends in Philly, Ryan, Matea, you guys rock. And we're, we're really excited to see them and, you know, make some new memories. Um, I don't really have too much to do in Philly, you know, like a lot of my work, my business work is in Kansas city. So I'm kind of thinking, what the heck am I going to do out there? And I might, I might try, you know, I might try to get a coffee shop gig and see how that works for two months. Cause we're just going to be out there for two months, rocking in an Airbnb, um, keeping it pretty simple. So, and then after that, in the spring, we're going to be living on the shore of New Jersey, Jersey Shore. And we're going to be about a two minute walk from the beach. We're going to be there for three months. And I just feel like I'm going to take so many photos, you know, take all my film cameras, just shoot through roll after roll after roll and try to make a book. Um, because, you know, like I said, I don't have too much work in Philly. Uh, so I might be flying to and from Kansas City for, for video projects and then filling my time in Philly. Oh, goodness gracious, that felt bad. <laughs> and then spending a lot of my time in, in, in the Northeast, just taking photos, walking around neighborhoods, grabbing some street photography. Uh, not sure what I'm going to be focusing on beyond that. Um, I've just, uh, as far as just the craft, like what have I been in love with recently? Um, I've, I've been in love with audio. I've, I've started to learn a lot about it and I feel like whatever I'm learning about at the time is what I'm really interested in. Uh, I think, you know, the next thing that I'm going to start focusing on is, you know, working with more serious cameras. Um, you know, I'm trying to get to the point where I can potentially buy a cinema camera. Everything that I've shot has been on the Sony a7 III so far, unless I've had the budget to rent a camera, then I have. But most of what I've filmed has been on this Sony a7 III, which isn't even Sony's flagship camera. But you know, if, if you learn how to live a scene, if you learn how to, you know, which, which side do I need to be on my character? You know, you can make it look good, but, uh, that's my focus right now is, you know, audio and then maybe I'll get into camera work. And then I think, I think I'm going to get into story work. Like how do I create a great narrative and how do I direct something that makes sense? You know, like how do I make a dialogue scene and blocking make sense? There's all kinds of stuff to play around with, but that's just kind of what I'm going to be exploring over the next, you know, year, half year, you know, especially since I'll have time, it'll be, it'll be really great. I also want to go and tell you guys about, you know, what I've been doing outside of photography and video, because sometimes I feel like that's all I talk about. Um, I'm trying to become a little bit more of a human because over the past two years, I've kind of gotten lost and that's lost in the sense that, you know, my all my focus is on photography and video and, you know, I need to start getting back in and finding other sources of inspiration and and joy and Ever since I was young, you know, I've played sports. I played basketball, I played soccer, baseball, you know, flag football. I was, a, man, I was good at flag football. <laughs> um, so, you know, I've always moved and I've always, you know, I've always been inspired and, and found joy in physical movement and like challenging my body. And, you know, since the pandemic, I didn't, I didn't want to be on a team. You know, I graduated soccer or I graduated from university, so I wasn't on a soccer team anymore. And I didn't really want to be on the field with all kinds of other people. So I took up, you know, these personal sports. I took up skateboarding for a solid two years and I got to the point where I could do some tricks. <laughs> like I was not amazing, but I was having fun with it, you know. Um, and then I switched from skateboarding because I realized, A, it can get incredibly expensive with the shoes and the, and the, and the boards, you know, I would, I would buy a deck and then a week later I would break it. And, you know, I'd have to buy another $60 deck. And so I wanted to find a, uh, you know, just an activity that was a little bit more sustainable for me. Um, a, bodily, you know, I was always rolling my ankle and hurting myself and B, uh, financially, you know, I can't be spending money like that, you know? So I got into running and, you know, I had, I have an amazing friend, Michael, who I haven't been able to run with in a while, but we started running daily and it was a blast. It was nice to get up early in the morning and then knock out our workout and 
it's like 6 30 at that point you know it was it was lovely and this 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 at the beginning of this year I decided to you know take my love of running to the next level and I started training for a marathon um and in March I started having problems you know I you know I I thought I was training in the right way I thought I had a good form as far as running but I've had shin splints ever since March. I haven't been able to get rid of them. I've also had foot problems and I've been running into all kinds of energies and injuries, energies. I've been running into all kinds of injuries that I just haven't been able, been able to get away from. And so, you know, right now my focus is how do I do this sport safely without hurting myself? Um, because in Philadelphia, I want to be able to run and explore these neighborhoods and have a great time um, you just moving my body in a new city. So I really hope I'm able to get better by then. I think that's all I want to talk to you about before I get to these questions on Instagram. I asked, you know, does anyone have any questions? Because I'm going to be rambling for a while in a few days. And so I got a few people who asked some questions. So I'm just going to answer. Uh, Jacob said, how are you feeling? Jacob, my friend, it's, uh, I'm feeling pretty quiet right now um you know i'm i'm excited for the next half year when we're going to be in philly and new jersey i have no clue what it's going to be like i have no clue you know what's going to happen and in a way that's exciting and in a way that's a little nerve-wracking like it's you know we don't have any family there have very few friends so I really have no idea. But I also feel pretty quiet right now in the sense that just emotionally overall I'm feeling a little bit more at peace. And that might have something to do with the fact that we're living out in the country at my parents' house. But it's been, it's been nice. You know, I wake up in the mornings and I go sit on the front porch and the birds are singing. And it's been really lovely to be able to just connect a little bit more with nature through, you know, walks and stuff like that. The next question, Luke's got the next question. Skippy, what up? Uh, <laughs> he said, how are you really? <laughs> I feel like I answered that one. I'm like, I'm not gonna be like, I'm great. And then, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, so, Skippy, I'm good, man. <laughs> Hope you're doing good. Uh, Eric says, why you no text me back, dude? Eric, I'm sorry, man. We have been moving. We have been doing all kinds of planning. I am juggling work, trying to get as much as I can done, uh, like, work-wise while we are in Kansas City, because I don't know if I'm gonna get any in Philly. Uh, <laughs> so I'm trying to make all my money now. So I've just been silly busy and I'm sorry, I haven't gotten back to you. This is like the first time I've sat down and done something not work related in a while. It's kind of nice. Uh, next question is, where are you guys traveling to next? Gee, next, very next, we're gonna be traveling to Atlanta to see Tyler's mom and family. Uh, and then after that, we're going to be going to Philly and New Jersey. But I'm going to go ahead and take this question, like not where are we going to like next next, but like vacation wise, where do I want to go? I want to pause for this. I'm almost out of coffee too. So I'm as soon as I'm out of coffee, I'm going to shut up and <laughs> we'll be done. Cool. But uh, vacation wise, there's like so many places that we've been, but there's even more places that we haven't been. But I just kind of feel like going to see our friends in Scotland, uh, going to see our, we have some friends in Scotland that we made who we still keep in contact with, uh, who actually took our photos and they did an amazing job. It was a magical photography. It was honestly probably one of my favorite photography sessions. Uh, like I, I know it was my favorite shoot that Tyler and I have ever had, but I definitely have not had a session that that was like myself that I was shooting that has, that would have been that magical. Like that was a magical setting. We're in, we're in the middle of the Highlands and you know, we've driven from Edinburgh 
out here to do a session with these two Polish photographers. And first of all, these Archer and Evelyn, you guys are the best. You guys are amazing. I love you guys. And it starts pouring rain. We don't have towels. We don't have extra clothes. And they were like, look, we can do this. Like we're here and we did it. It was magical. And ever since then, I've just been wanting to go back. So that is my next trip. I want to go to Scotland and I want to take a long hiking trip with them. That would be nice. Uh, last question. Lawrence says, how do you go about editing pictures in Lightroom Photoshop, bro? God, uh, <laughs> uh, Lawrence, my dude, uh, I, so like in Photoshop, really the only thing that I'll do is, you know, clone stamp. Like if I, if I got something in my background that I want out, all I'll do is clone stamp. I also do all my skin corrections in, in, in Photoshop. I do frequency separation. Um, a lot of people, and that's a huge debate. A lot of people are like, you should dodge and burn, Chris. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, I could, but I just have not taken the time to learn. And so I just continue to do frequency separation. Oh, I, I, it's hard to explain without showing you, like, how I go about editing in Lightroom. <laughs> um, really, you know, uh, like on a lot of my pictures, I'll just drop my highlights, lift my shadows, deep in my blacks, you know, I will play around with white balance. And then I just do a lot of split tones. Like I do a lot of split toning in Lightroom. You know, I get my colors right and then I'll take my photo over to pho Photoshop and do my skin corrections and stuff like that. It's been fun, friends. This has definitely been nice. And, you know, it's just been nice to sit and talk. And I feel like, you know, Obviously I'm looking at a camera, but I know that you guys are gonna be watching. And obviously I'm talking to a camera right here in my yard, but it's been nice. I don't know what else to say. Yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for listening. If you listened. Also, if you didn't listen, thank you. And I appreciate everyone who continues to support and, you know, who's booked sessions with me, you know, who, who enjoys photography and video. Like, thank you for being awesome. You know, um, yeah, I just feel an overwhelming sense of appreciation right now. Appre appreciate. My wife always says I can't say that word. Appreciation. <laughs> I feel very grateful for you guys. So thank you. And uh, yeah, I'll wrap it there. I'll see you guys later.